For 28 years, the ritual has been the same. 1,000 times settling down, cinching in. 1,000 prayers, always the same. Never grows old. His burning desire on this day to drive to compete at a level better than he has ever performed before. 1,000 green flags, each representing a personal challenge for which few have worked harder than Mark Martin. His is an old story. In 1974, at age 15, he had a 55 Chevy. A kid on a dusty Arkansas dirt track getting seat time, believing that someday he would play his game on the biggest stage the sport has to offer. An unswerving desire. To excel has spawned a total of 94 wins over 28 seasons. But with Mark Martin, it's more than winning that has made him one of the most admired drivers in NASCAR history. Kyle Petty once called him a pit bull. He is tenacious, sinks his teeth in, and refuses to let go, said Kyle. And he caught the eye of up-and-coming car owner Jack Roush. They became one of the most successful owner-driver combos in NASCAR history. Mark, you're going to be just fine. you got eight laps on your left side tires. That's all you got, bud. You're going to be just fine. The strategy? He has said, I don't know what strategy is. I just race. The strategy is to win. Not only on Sundays, but on Saturdays, that strategy has worked out for him setting an all-time record in the NASCAR Nationwide Series in 1997. Mark Martin sets the record, and he breaks the record of Jack Ingram, set many, many years ago. 48 wins, 7 Truck Series wins, with 6 of those coming in only 14 starts on the 2006 season. What is it that makes him so unique, so special, among that list of all-time NASCAR greats? Over the years, I have developed some skills for survival, he says. To be successful at anything as competitive as this, you have to be thick-skinned and you have to be tough or you won't survive. And that doesn't mean I don't bleed. His toughness is not just in mental attitude, but in physical makeup. No extra body fat here, no splurging. His regimen for building mind and body is the envy of those with whom he competes. Got a message for Carl. Get you some of those at 47, Carl. Today, he sits in a car from the Rick Hendrick Racing Stable, has four wins this season, poised to make another Cup Series championship run. But that is not what earns the admiration of race fans, young and old or his younger counterparts at Bristol tonight. It's his honesty, his stark honesty. He is one who says what he means, and to heck with the politics. Mark Martin has earned a special place among the best in the business. It's not just his fearlessness, driving through barriers of physical pain from time to time. What captures our imagination is something he once said right here, on speed, Mark Martin said the three most meaningful words in his vocabulary are class, dignity, and respect. Well, Mark, that's good enough for most of us. As you make that 1,000 start tonight here at Bristol, know that a nation of racing fans are with you. Have a good ride. been an amazing 1,000 career starts for Mark Martin and an amazing thing that your sponsor Kellogg's is doing. Todd Pentagore with Kellogg's Snacks, the president of Kellogg's Snacks, is donating a 1,000 pounds of food to the Arkansas Food Bank on behalf of you, Mark Martin. That's pretty amazing in itself. Well, it is, and uh, directing that right to Batesville, Arkansas, my hometown, and uh, that's really special. Uh, it's great to have partners like Kellogg's to support uh, what we do, and uh, we really appreciate them. How are you feeling today? It's a lot to soak in. Uh, you know, I don't know. A thousand starts just means that I love racing. I've been doing it a long time, and, and I'm so grateful to the fans uh, and, and to everybody that, you know, that has made this happen and made it so special. Um, 
I just really feel lucky to be driving this race car right now and, and have a team behind me like, uh, like I have that put me in great race cars uh, every week, and uh, I'm having the time of my life. I think it's amazing at 50 years old, all the things you're accomplishing this 2009 season. Do you ever look back or get up in the morning and look at what's happening right now in the here and now with you and, ju and just kind of shake your head? I really do every day. Uh, this is the best. I mean, I look back and all, uh, you know, my first starts in 1981 and, and uh, just all the things. And, and, yeah, there were some really incredible times and a lot of things, but nothing that really measures up to the incredible time that I've had with Hendrick Motorsports and driving the five car, working with Kellogg's and CarQuest and and uh, Hendrick Motorsports and Allen and you know it's just uh, I keep having to pinch myself. I think I'm drinking.